Here's my 80 gallon a year or two ago. Not uh, too much. I was getting it ready. Then I bought some veil and I bought some crypto, which is kind of in the middle front. Had some sword plants and then it started growing like crazy. The veil took over in the back. The crypto went nuts. But I had some fish that kind of damaged the plants. So it kind of looked a little more like this. And now... Hi! Um, just want to show my other tank that I have here. This is my 80 gallon planted tank. All live plants. Uh, this, uh, this lawn leafy stuff back here is a type of veil. And it used to look a lot fuller and more beautiful but I was growing out some small serviums in here and my little red one um, really enjoyed shredding my plants and eating them. They have since moved out into the 100 gallon tank now so uh, we'll have a chance to uh, grow some plants. Hopefully they'll come back to their glory. I have some Malaysian trumpet snails in here. Um, you don't see them very often but they are I didn't think they'd do well, but uh, we got we got some in here. I I added them to the tank. They um, can be benef beneficial. They actually have turned churned up my substrate a lot. Uh, the tops of the substrate used to be the black, and then these uh, brown clay was my base level. And uh, I've done it over the with cleaning, but I really think these little snails have. Um, helped a lot. When I had my serviums in here, I kind of neglected my plants. This is a totally low tech tank. Uh, oh god, what are my wattage? What's my wattage? I don't know what my wattage is. Off the top of my head, I'd have to look. But it's pretty good light. Oh, uh, what's the wattage? It's 2 times 65. There we go. 2 times 65 watts. Uh, these are, oh gosh, what are they? T5, I think? Anyways, turn that off. How do I turn the light off? I have a, whatever. Don't mind the glare. So, in this tank, it's totally low tech. Uh, I've, the main algae that I get in here, you will see, it's that green spot algae. And I don't really mind it. As long as the algae is green, I don't care. If it's any other color, I'll try my hardest to get rid of it. I get some brown, ugh, some brownish algae that grows on my African fern right here, the darker ferny looking one. Uh, but not a big deal. So this tank is not looking as well as it should. It's not quite in its full glory because of the serviums. And like I said, I neglected it. But I am starting to dose uh, it again. I dose with a Flourish XL. That's my CO2 because I don't have actual CO2 in here, but the Flourish XL helps a lot. Oh shit! Oh, I'm getting some black, black beard algae. Oh, I hate that stuff. Shit. This stuff's the worst. Anyways, like I said, haven't really been dosing this tank. Haven't really been fertilizing it well. Uh, I have lost some fish, these stupid tetras back here. They just, they're not hardy. They just friggin' die. I had eight, I have two. Maybe I only have one. They're just not hardy fish. They're so pretty, but they're so not hardy. So, you know, when you have a planted tank, it's all about balance. And that means everything. You have to balance your fertilization, your fertilization. <laughs> you have to balance your fertilizing. You have to balance your light. You have to balance your plant, your animals, your your pets. You have to have a balance of how many fish you have in this tank. And I had a lot of fish in this tank. This tank was uh, overstocked, but when this tank was overstocked, my plants did so much better. So I'm going to get some more fish. Not any more angels. I have enough angels. This beautiful blue one. She's pretty. 
and uh, that one, yeah, look at that big. That one's smoky. And this one's Lonnie. Here. And this one is twin. Cause, oh, these are the, the twins. See, both the twins. Um, then we have Mr. Lonnie. I think that's Mr. Lonnie. Mr. Lonnie and Mrs. Lonnie. I'm not really sure which one's male or female. I'm just guessing by size. And then we have my little blues. Um, I think one of them's name is Elsa. Named by my daughter. Uh, I'll name that one Pearl back there because she has a bit of the pearl skin. Anyways, these angelfish are doing so great in here. They are, I had them spawn once. Uh, there was a pair in here that spawned. But besides that, they are super cool. I'm not having any issues with real, see, that's about as much fight that I get. And it's usually between these two. I can't remember who spawned, but I'm pretty sure this one was involved with the spawning. So, yeah, that's my tank. Um, I'll do updates on it. I'm hoping to bring it back to its glory. Make sure that this stupid blackbeard algae... See right there on the tip of that? I'm trying to make that go away. And hopefully I can get these plants to just take off like they once did. Now that uh, those little plant-eating serviums are out. Yeah. Alright, that's my tank. Oh, and I'm also thinking about adding actual pressurized CO2. I've only done... Indy! Mm -mm. Had to yell at my dog. I've only done a DIY CO2, which works really well, but it doesn't work for this size tank, so I'm thinking of going pressurized and uh, really getting an impressive uh, tank going. So... That's my tank.